Did you know that dragons actually exist and that if you, my friend, are watching this, you have your own personal dragon guide? If you were drawn to this video, it's because your personal dragon guide would like to take it a little deeper with you. They want to work with you more consciously and you are in fact ready. Again, if you were drawn here, there's a reason for that. Because my friend, despite the cutesy title, which was a call out, you know, to pop culture, um, this is all about your dragon guide training you. <laughs> we as the humans are actually like the lower, the lower beings here. The dragons are so ancient and wise and evolved and loving, and they have so much to teach us but can you listen? So whether or not you were aware before seeing this that you have a dragon guide, take the time right now just to say thank you. Send them your gratitude because you know they've been creeping on you, they've been watching out for you, they've taken you under their wing for a long, long time now, and they probably haven't gotten much credit, if any, because you weren't even aware that they existed. So if you just wanna take a moment right now just to say, hello, dragon guide, hello. I love you. Thank you. You're awesome. Let's do this. So now that we're all acquainted and you've watched my video on how to determine what elemental affinity your dragon guide has, let's get down to the nitty gritty of working with your dragon guide based on their elemental affinity. First off, we got the fire dragons. My favorite, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, so yeah, my, my original first dragon guide was a fire dragon so I have a lot of personal experience with this one but a fire dragon so you've got a fire dragon as your guide or you suspect they have fire as an elemental affinity as many dragon guides do I mean there is the whole mythology of them breathing fire right so the two things that you need to know are that fire dragons are okay three things it's three things <laughs> fire dragons are very powerful one they really want you to know that they're super super strong okay two they're really good at alchemizing shit and three they are very good at protecting you energetic protection so how to work with your fire dragon is to ask them invite them to do these things that they're good at um if you're an empath a fire dragon is going to be especially wonderful for you because guess what friend they can literally protect your energy field from like any unwanted negative energies so if you're going out into like a big crowd of people or even you're just hanging out with friends or you're even going on social media and you just suspect that you're going to have a lot of interference with your aura with that, with your emotions and you're going to be picking up things like a sponge you can ask your fire dragon to create a wall of fire around you that repels, it burns, it transmutes any, you know, unwanted emotions that you don't want to t take on personally. And on the alchemical sense, um, kind of same deal going off of that. So if you have any um, unwanted emotions yourself that you're recognizing, if you've noticed any, you know, past childhood trauma, past life trauma, any lingering karma, anything that just feels really yucky, really sticky, and you're just like, ah, can we just get rid of that? Can we just burn that shit? Yes, my friend. Yes, yes, you can. Or rather, your fire dragon can, if you will ask them to do so. They need your permission to do so, but they are more than happy once you ask that permission. Three, they really want me to include this. They would love it if you just stroke their ego. <laughs> uh, fire dragons love a good ego stroke. So if you want to thank them after they've done this for you, they've done this service, if you just want to stroke their ego, they would just love you forever. And that'll just increase your bond and that'll increase your protection as well in the alchemical nature. And I can just feel the fire of my fire dragon right now. She's so happy. So two, water dragons. Um, as you may know, if you do any sort of witchcraft, you work with the, the tarot or astrology and stuff, you may know that water is associated with psychic ability and water is associated with emotions. So water dragons are going to be really helpful for these two things. Um, they can help um, stimulate dreams, for example, if you want to have like guidance through your dreams, you can ask them to open your your third eye and they will do that they will help you have vivid dreams too they can literally like use their watery power their watery energy to clean your energetic field so if anything feels gunky like in your chakras and your aura you can literally ask your water dragon to just bathe you in a shower of water and love and happiness and all things that are awesome <laughs> and on that note 
water dragons are really just, they're so sweet and they're so loving and they can really just help you tap into the frequency of unconditional love. So if you, you're you just feeling really lonely, you're hurt, you're doing some inner child work, some shadow work, you can call in a water dragon and they're just going to ease that. It's going to be nice and flowy for you. And they can also help you going off of that with uh, relationships, whether that's, you know, romantic, familial friends, whatever, just relationships with other beings. Um, you can call them and if you suspect there's going to be tension, like you're going to have a tough conversation with a friend or something, you can call on a water dragon. They're going to help be a diplomat and just sort of smooth things over for you. Um, and fun fact, water dragons, I'll show you. This is this is mine. This is my little buddy, uh, my little water dragon. And I drew a sketch of him. And so as you can see, water dragons, they, they're they very different from other kinds of dragons in that they are very water-like, <laughs> as you would expect, I guess. Um, and they're the only one of the main four elemental affinities that can't really breathe fire. Um, but again, who needs fire when you've got all that love and all that adorableness? And if you want a sketch of your dragon my friend i can actually draw one if that is a service you haven't hit me up for yet feel free to do so because you can use um the image of your dragon as an anchor to call them in and make it easier for them to work with and of course if you feel that you like to draw and you've always been drawn to that you can also draw a sketch of your dragon and draw them in that way so water dragons of course they're very sensitive and they would love it if you you know sent them your love just sent them love <laughs> that's really all they want they're just so sweet um send your water dragons love and they will love you forever my friend and also of course go swimming um you can literally invite your your water dragon to go swimming with you or if you just take a bath or even the shower they can help you know um clear out your energy when you're in the shower so yeah those are fun water dragon things three earth dragons um stereo stereotypically enough earth dragons of course if you love to work in nature in any capacity work in gardens with plants with animals even with children and things um earth dragons are gonna help you with that they're gonna help facilitate harmonious communication there um they can stimulate plant growth and the like uh, they can also help you just ground. So they're really, really useful. If you're the type of person that just gets stuck in your head and it, you just get all out of control, call in an earth dragon. Again, even if you don't have a personal guardian dragon that is an earth dragon, you can call one in and they can ground you. You can just ask them to assist you in grounding and they will literally help you like plant roots into the earth and bring you back down to earth. And then they can also help with manifestation, any sort of like law of attraction manifestation work because they want to help you materialize um, that which is on the etheric planes. So it's like you think of something, right? You're like, I want this thing. And then you feel it. And then if you call them the earth dragons, they will help you literally manifest it. And going off of that as well, um, you can call in earth dragons for help with money for a home, um, anything like that, anything physical, really, like they're your jack of all trades. They're going to help you with that. And finally, their energy energy is very um powerful and good for like staying power if that makes sense so if you are feeling like tired and put out like you want to give up call on an earth dragon they're going to help give you the boost the determination needed to keep pushing through slowly but surely and then if you want if you want it to go a bit faster you can call on a fire dragon but be warned <laughs> fire dragons because they do stuff much faster um it can be much more intense of a ride an earth dragon is going to lead you through the process nicely it's going to be like literally a walk in the park pun intended so thanking the earth dragons i would say them more than any of the other kinds of dragons would like appreciate any sort of offering that you have for them typically i'm not a fan of offerings i don't think it's ne necessary unless you want to and that it feels like you feel called to that but earth dragons like if you just have like a like a crystal or something um and that is your earth dragon crystal for your earth dragon they would love that or like a stone just something that you get from nature they would love that and again if you just you know go out into nature and you know touch a tree hug a tree kiss a tree even and uh imagine you're just sending you know gratitude and love to the tree to the plants um any any sort of just respect or love or gratitude you can give to nature or animals 
the earth dragons, they're gonna love that and they're gonna help you out that much more. If you need a little fun in your life, call in a wind dragon or an air dragon. They know how to have a good time. And as air is uh, associated with, you know, the intellect, with communication and with thoughts, if you are in any sort of field where you have to communicate a lot and often, you can call in an earth dragon to ensure that that communication goes smoothly and clearly. Um, you can also call in earth dragons. Like again, if you're feeling stagnant any energy anywhere, specifically in your thoughts, if you're just feeling like there there's too many thoughts, they're not your thoughts, they're not ideal thoughts, you can literally ask an earth dragon to just blow, you know, fresh air, fresh life into your thoughts, into your energetic field, and they are more than happy to do so. They can also, um, you know, help you with inspiration, bringing you new ideas. If you're feeling, again, stuck, out of touch with the muse, um, you can ask your air dragon for um, intuitive inspiration. And finally, an air dragon is quite stereotypically great at astral travel. Any sort of astral travel that you want to do, like out of body stuff, you can call in your earth air dragon for protection as you do so and they will fly with you um and they will be your guide and it can be a really fun time to thank your air dragon just have a good time <laughs> that's all they want from you really is to have a good time they they like feed off of that energy of fun okay um they're so playful so if you're just having a good time they're gonna be happy you're gonna be happy everyone's gonna be happy doesn't that sound happy. So that concludes, you know, how to work with, I guess, in the most stereotypical, easiest, basic ways with your four main elemental types of dragons. And also know if you haven't seen my other video, your dragon can have more than one elemental affinity. Sometimes they'll have even all four, um, though it is much rarer. Um, and also when you start working with dragons, it's likely you'll have, you know, a dragon for each elemental affinity. And if not, you can call them in if they respect you and they think you're doing a good job and they feel your vibe they are more than happy they're gonna come in droves friend focus on um your first you know dragon guide to begin with however um focus on them and their element and then expanding out from there because you don't want to overwhelm yourself with too much dragon energy because that can really like um shake up stuff in your life for sure so I would love to know in the comments, um, what elemental affinity does your dragon guide have and how do you work with them? If you'd like to go deeper with this, I'm literally about to launch a course, an online course that's going to teach you everything there is to know about working with your personal dragon guide and dragons in general. So you might want to check out the link in the description for that. And also you can hit up my services page for meet your dragon guide. I've got meditations. Again, I can do a sketch of your dragon to help you connect with them that way. I can channel them through the tarot. So there's just lots of dragon diplomacy going on over at ownyourpowers.com. So if you're feeling this vid, let me know with a like, a subscribe, and hitting that notification bell um, to be notified when I post new videos because I, I think I will be using this YouTube channel from now on to focus on dragon content specifically. And of course, if you have any questions about working with dragons, I would love to hear those as well. Feel free to let me know in the comments, my friend. And until next time, stay powerful.